let me but uh, let I won't really want to share my experience uh, while trying to get recertified on my CCNA. So hello and welcome guys. Um, I just wanted to record this video uh, because I just tried tried to um, renew my CCNA certification uh, recently. Well, yesterday at the time of this recording. Um, and since the channel, it's all about tech and all about, um, not tech, but uh, routing, switching, IP, Linux, Red Hat, Unix, networking, Cisco, etc. Since this is um, this channel is uh, this channel, it's all about that. Uh, I would suspect that um, um, many of you guys are uh, interested in this type of stuff about getting certified on a certain vendor. Um, I cannot disclose details, as you might imagine. That's not uh, that's not that's something I really cannot do um, because um, I could get in trouble in Cisco and. Uh, I work with uh, Cisco for many many years, and through through direct directly and through partners. So I, I cannot disclose nitty and gritty details. But let me but uh, let I won't really want to share my experience uh, while trying to get recertified on my CCNA. Uh, so I tried this recently, like I said, and I have been CCNA certified since 2000, since the year 2000. I am Microsoft certified since 1998 and other certifications in the process too, but these are the ones that, especially Cisco, I really want to discuss you guys uh, right now. I haven't uh, written down any script about this. I have some topics just in my mind so I can discuss because this type of stuff I really feel that should be talked from the heart and if it's scripted it's already a little bit treated so like this it, it comes out as straight from my heart and directly to you guys so if you are trying to get ccna certified or recertified like my like like i tried to do you'd really at this point in 2023 you should bear in mind that it's a very tough thing to to crack very tough cookie to crack um Right now, the CSNA, not 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 right now, but for the past, let's say for the past um, five to six years, maybe it's it's uh, it's get it it it's very different from the original one from the year two thousand. On the year two thousand, it was much about routing and switching, um, basically that it and that that is and was tough enough. Right now, uh, at 2023, it's about routing, uh, switching, um, cloud technologies, and all what that implies, Ansible, Puppet, JSON, North Bridge Processing, South Bridge Processing, um, wireless, all the norms, the clean channels, configuring the wireless controllers and access points through the GUI. It's it's uh, MPLS, One Technologies, PPP, um, um, fiber, fiber modes, fiber types, uh, fiber connectors. So in the in the certification, there there are it's a such a big span of subjects that you might be asked about that it makes it really really tough for a beginner to to pass. Uh, to be honest. Like I said, I am certified since the year 2000, so I've been through all the stages and all the phases and all the things, all the and all the um, how to say the trends in a way on networking. So I've been through dial-up. I've been, I have been through the EMPLS era. I have been through the whole shebang, frame relay X25. So I have been through all of that. So I have that. I have learned uh, throughout my experience with that and my hands-on experience with that. That really helps and helps helps a lot. If you are a new guy trying to get the CCNA like I tried, you're going to have a really tough time to crack the nuts alone. Okay, you really need to study your subjects. You really need to maybe get some training. Invest on some training if you have the verb. The verb. <laughs> you have the means for that. Really buy some training. Get certified with with an instru get the CCNA uh, uh, training on your veins. 
get this, get trained through an instructor, either being on the classroom or remote training. Get someone experienced to get you through the ropes. I know it's a big investment, and I know that uh, not everybody is uh, able to invest in that. If you are trying to go through the ropes alone, which is understandable and fine, um, just be careful because you really need to prepare yourself. Um, I don't know what what type of content is there available that can be considered a, a little bit more, um, I don't know, gray market in a way, so you can get your training through that method, which is fine. I can under truly understand that. My channel tries to share uh, content about this subject too, but um, just recently I, ha I have been trying to repost content and like and subscribe because I will post content in a more frequent basis than I have done so far. I have a lot of content scripted. I have a lot of content ready to, to you guys and I will put it up um, soon. But uh, I had this challenge in my, in my hands that was to get recertified on my CCNA because I got the email uh, through through Cisco saying your certification is about to expire and I really need it for my day-to-day -day work. So I had to work hard to get recertified. So I tried my recertification and yeah, I passed. Um, it was really tough. I only managed to pass thanks to my previous experience. If you are a new person getting trained on CCNA, take your time, unless you obviously are time pressured. Take your time to learn the subject. There's a lot, a lot to learn. Even when I deliver the training in uh, through official means, um, it's a five-day training and there is no time to cover all the subjects. There's a lot of um, self-study involved, okay? That's a lot. There's lots and lots and lots. Of course, the, if you go through the topics and even though I passed, um, they're, they don't give us um, a, gr a grade per se, just to say passed or failed. In this case, I passed, um, but they give you they give you the topics, and of course, the topics delivered on the exam are on the same extent that they are delivered on the training. So the big bulk of the exam is routing and switching, and SSH, ACLs, OSPF, static routing, IPv4, IPv6, VLANs, tracking, dot one Q. I had two uh, practical exercises to configure trunks and configure some routing. I cannot tell you the details, but it was all about that. Lots of questions about what route is going to be chosen. Lots of questions about how to how, how to limit or restrict the SSH access to a router or to a switch. How to uh, configure SSH from scratch. Uh, how to some outputs from some computers and trying to detect what's wrong with them why they cannot reach a certain site, for example. Also, um, some ex some situations where uh, you get some outputs of a show interface and, and between two routers and, for example, the connection, it's, it's, it's not reliable. What could be causing this? Differences between route fiber types um, and so on and so forth. Also, some wireless uh, questions and troubleshooting and well, what you see in the training, it's possible to, and of, oh, um, I almost forgot, cloud solutions, JSON, Ansible, Puppet, all of that stuff. For So for a, a new person, for a fresh person or a fresh student in the area, in this type of subject, it's going to be really hard to get your head around all the subjects. Routing and switching is hard enough. I mean, there is so much to explore there in terms of exam content. There is so much to explore there, uh, but um, then you have on top of that wireless, on top of that, uh, you have all the cloud solutions. And don't forget about VRRP, um, AHSP, um, and all of that, uh, all of that stuff. So I passed, but my advice to you, it can be divided into roads. You are a newbie, you are initiating yourself in this, you know, little, almost nothing about Cisco. Reserve lots of time to this, okay? Um, if you, uh, I don't know exactly what time to suggest, but if you can, um, I'm sure you cannot take a month off work. Maybe you can, maybe you are unemployed. I don't know your situation. 
That's why this channel exists. This channel exists to offer offer help to any type of person that needs that help. So um, get a reserve on at least a month to get started on this certification. At least a month. That's my suggestion. At least a month to get um, to get your your time around this and get certified. Study your stuff and focus a lot on routing and switching and basic configuration. Okay, because that's the bulk of the exam. Not enough to pass. There were almost 100 questions, but it, it will get you there really closely. Then try to get your head around the concept of uh, cloud computing, cloud concepts, and all of that stuff. Okay, so it's a very tough exam, even for an experienced person like myself. Okay, I was there for almost the f entire length of the exam. It was two hours and 40 minutes or something like that. I took my time to think about the questions. Obviously, there were questions I could answer really quickly, but I took the time to think about the questions and all and about the answers before I actually respond to them. There were a couple of questions that I responded, and I said, "Damn it, um, uh, the, the answer was a different one." But it can, it happens, and on the exam, when you answer a question and go forward, you cannot go back. Okay. In the beginning of the times, when on, on the year 2000, you could answer all the questions and can go back to review. Now you cannot. When you answer, the, it's final. When you answer the question, the question is answered, and that's pretty much final. And you're done. So if you are a beginner, if you don't know your way around routing, switching, cloud, cloud Wi-Fi, wi etc., really, really take your time if you can. If you don't have that time pressure, at least a month work, at least a month work if you don't have the experience. That will give you a somewhat of a fair chance to pass the exam. If you are an per, ex, experienced person, um, that really depends on your background, really. But at least three weeks, I would say. Um, if you are really, really experienced with routing and switching, then it's just uh, the upscale to um, to Wi-Fi things and and uh, and cloud things. That if you're not experienced with that, at least three weeks. If you are inexperienced, at least a month. And if you can reserve in both situations, experience it or not, a week. At, well, at least a week to um, actually get some practice questions in. Because the, the language on the exams, the exams are really, it can be really strange. Sometimes there are double meaning to the questions and sometimes it seems that multiple answers are correct. So you, you, it's really important to get acquainted with the language. It's really important to get, to get acquainted with the language of the questions, the way they phrase the questions and the way they word the questions. If you're not, not if you don't train your brain a couple, a few days before the exam about that type of language, you will struggle while trying to do the exam. Okay, so try to get some practice questions in. Um, search for them. I'm not going to tell you if they where they exist and if they exist, but put some practice questions in because that that in, in that way you will get um, uh, acquainted with their with the language because Cisco has a very specific language on the exam. Sometimes not the best one, but you need to really uh, squeeze the, the meaning out so you can get the answer in. Okay. So uh, this is my this this is me sharing my experience experience by doing the exam yesterday. So a very fresh experience. Uh, put in the comments below any questions that you might have about this. I am happy to answer those questions, but of course all something that is not what was question one or question two that i will not answer if you have some, you have some questions about the exam format how it's delivered how the exams are done present in 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 the in the set in the exam center or at home if you have any questions i have lots of experience with that and i'm i'm happy to reply to them okay please feel free to fill in the comments below with questions i am really happy to answer them and and thanks for watching like and subscribe it will help see if you can and i'll see you in the next one good luck on exam if that's the case